Good morning, I'm Simon Hughes, I'm the Brig Channel Islands dealer and I'm here in Salkham on a lovely summer's day to review the new Eagle 670. So let's start at the bow and let's run through some of the features that we've got here. We've got a nice new designed uh, step plate on the bow which integrates the navigation lights into it making sure that anyone in front of the boat has a clear view of the nav lights there's no possibility of somebody sitting in the way and blocking the nav lights so it's a great safety feature coming off from that we have two lockers we have an anchor locker for the anchor chain and line um, and then we have a, a behind that we have a larger completely clean locker which we can keep our fenders and lines in and some personal effects kit bags after that we go into the forward cockpit area which has the facility to uh, position a sun deck over the top of it to give you a, a fully upholstered length from the front of the console all the way to the bow, a nice area to relax in and anchor. And then we have a large seat in front of the console uh, which has a nice uh, waterproof locker underneath it uh, to keep uh, more, more valuable stuff in. Um, then we get into the console. The console is a complete redesign. Uh, it's very fresh looking. Uh, it's got a lot of space for your instrumentation. Um, everyone's taking larger chart plotters and electronic instruments now. And this has been redesigned to, to accommodate all of that. Your VHF, your plotter, your Suzuki electronic instruments, your stereo, uh, as well as your switches and controls um, for the main electronic functions on the boat. The new console also uh, gives a fair bit more protection um, and for a boat of this size it's really, it's really very good protection while still be nicely styled in and it, it's finished off with a large diameter stainless steel grab rail uh, which gives a great feeling of security and really feels very solid. Coming off from that you have the helm seat which is grown a little bit wider. Uh, it has the bolstered seats so you can stand and helm or you can sit at the helm. Um, giving you uh, that protection from the elements or better visibility if you're, if you're standing up. Um, and again, it's all finished off with some nice new styled stainless steel handrails. Going aft from the helm seat, you have um, the familiar uh, recessed bench seat across the back of the boat. Um, that recess gives a great feeling of security and safety. If you've got children on board, you feel really happy putting the kids in there. Um, they're really safe and you know they've got plenty to hold on to um, and they're not going to get thrown out of the boat. It also accommodates a large uh, locker which has a, a, a very large opening so you can put quite big, quite big objects in there underneath the locker. Uh, this particular boat is fitted with the, with the bimini which uh, wraps around the back of the seating and Im improves the seating height and security again. Going aft from that we have the, uh, the new styled uh, ski pole and radar post and we have some new handrail styling it's nice big solid cleats um, and you have uh, really good access from the cockpit through to the bathing platform and the bathing ladder uh, with non-skid patches and uh, you can hold on to the onto the ski post as you as you move fore and aft this particular boat has then also been fitted with a Suzuki 175 lean burn which is going to return really great fuel economy and terrific performance to the boat. We uh, have maintained the tubes in the water, which gives the boat a great deal of stability, both at rest and underway. And the new hull design, this is all packaged up with, uh, is going to provide great performance and sea keeping. This really makes a very nice, tidy package for a family group uh, or for water sports enthusiasts or just as a leisure cruiser.